Hi, I'm Melissa, and I'm with Youth Equipped to Succeed, and welcome back to another motivational moment. When I was in middle school, I started at a new school in the middle of the school year. Now, I was hesitant about starting a new school, but this school was great. It had lots of programs and extracurricular activities, and things started off great, and then things got bad. A group of girls started to bully me. Although they never hit me or said mean things to my face, they did tell all the other girls in class to not talk to me or be my friend. At lunch, I would eat alone, and no one, I mean no one, wanted to be around me. The kids would laugh and say mean jokes about me behind my back. It was a really difficult time for me. I felt lonely, angry, and I didn't want to go to school anymore. Now, obviously, this was a bullying situation, and I was being treated in a way that I didn't want to be treated. And this happened for months. See, the definition of bullying is clear. It's when someone treats someone in a way that they don't want to be treated. And this can happen over and over and over again, or it can be one big significant act, like a big fight or attack. Now, I hope none of you watching have experienced this before, being treated in a way that you don't want to be treated. But unfortunately, some people do experience bullying. Today, I want to talk to you about four types of bullying, what to do if you are being bullied and how to help others from being bullied. The first type of bullying we'll talk about is physical bullying. This is when someone hurts another person's body. It's hitting, kicking, pushing, or even taking their things without their permission. And number two, verbal bullying. Verbal bullying is when someone uses their words to hurt someone else. This can include name calling, teasing, making fun of someone, or saying mean things about them. People may think words don't hurt, but they do. Our words are very powerful. Your words are very powerful. And they can be used to build someone up in a positive way or tear someone down in a negative way. So I want you to think about this. How do you use your words? Take a moment and think about when was the last time you gave someone a compliment or said, thank you, I appreciate you. If it's been a while, next time you're around your friends or maybe someone you don't talk to often, give them a compliment. Number three, social bullying. Now, social bullying is when someone tries to make another person feel left out or lonely. This can involve spreading rumors about them, maybe excluding them from activities, or trying to turn others against them. Now, this is the type of bullying that I experienced. And this type of bullying is subtle and very discreet. Excluding people from activities or spreading rumors about someone is simply not okay. And most of the time, someone who does this type of bullying to others are judging someone by what they see on the outside. But when we judge people without really getting to know them, it can lead to us making incorrect judgments about others. So before you judge someone else, get to know them. You may find out you have a lot more in common than you think. And number four is cyber bullying. Cyberbullying happens on the internet or through technology. It's when someone sends mean or hurtful messages or spreads rumors or shares embarrassing pictures or videos online of somebody else. Now I get it, technology is everywhere. And because of this, people think they can just hide behind a screen and they believe they can say whatever they want online without getting in trouble. But the truth is, when a person posts mean things or lies about others online, there can be some serious consequences. So remember, it's important to be careful and kind when using technology because you never know what the other person is going through on the other side of the screen. Now I hope that none of you are actually doing the bullying to other people, but if you are, I do wanna encourage you to stop and think about the other person that you're bullying and how your actions is negatively impacting them. You don't have to hurt others 
to be liked, or to feel better about yourself. You can choose kindness today. And not only will it help others, but you will start to feel better about yourself as well. And when you see bullying happen, either at school, online, or in your communities, it can be so easy to ignore it, or to walk away or even laugh at the person who is being mistreated. This is called being a bystander. But I wanna encourage you to no longer be a bystander, but to be what I like to call an upstander. This is someone who stands up against bullying. And although you're not joining the fight, but you are telling that person to stop and you're reporting what is happening to a trusted adult. Now it is really important to remember that bullying is not okay. And if you or someone you know is being bullied, it's important to talk to a trusted adult like a parent, teacher, or school counselor and they can help stop the bullying and make sure everyone feels safe. Because here's the truth, everyone deserves to feel safe at school and online and in their communities. So remember, being kind to others is always the right thing to do. You can choose today to put an end to bullying by standing up for others, no longer being a bystander and being kind to everyone you see. Thank you so much for watching today's Motivational Moment, and we will see you all on the next one.